Why do I not recommend PRP to my patients or perform it on patients? It causes significant amounts of trauma. So just as I was detailing in that first segment, micro trauma is an important thing. When it's controlled, but when there's too much trauma because you're freehand injecting into the scalp willy nilly, well, that's not necessarily giving you the best return. And it actually has been theorized, and there's fairly strong consensus now amongst a lot of hair loss doctors that you could actually be causing too much trauma. Now, when you look at the most recent microneedling studies, it's actually been shown that a shorter or a more superficial penetration into the skin, i.e. 0.5 of a millimeter, outperforms one millimeter and outperforms 1.5 millimeters. So when you use a microneedling device, you have controlled trauma in a very systematic, methodical way. And you can perform this over the entire scalp. Now, often, PRP is injected freehand with needles into the scalp and it's usually they're using a 27 gauge needle which is quite large so you're causing huge amounts of trauma to the thing that you're trying to help. The other interesting thing about causing too much trauma is when you cause too much trauma you cause significant blood flow to that part of the scalp. If you cause significant blood flow you change the hydrostatic forces that are happening locally in the scalp. So what that means is if you've got so much blood flow into that area, you're likely actually pushing a lot of those platelets that you've injected into that area to have effect locally. You're pushing them either out into the systemic bloodstream again, where you've drawn them, so that's counterintuitive, or you're even potentially pushing them up onto the scalp. So when you're causing lots of trauma, you are potentially pushing a lot of those platelets away from the area that you're wanting them to take effect, which is around the base of the follicle, which is around where the bulge is. When you're pushing them away, they're not gonna be having the effect that you want them to. So causing too much trauma, which causes too much irrigation, is not a positive thing. The other thing is if it's brutally painful, no one is going to comply long-term. And that is one of the biggest reasons you see in cosmetic clinics and hair restoration clinics across the globe. And I know a number of these where you've got a nurse or a physician that goes, I've got a centrifuge, but it just sits on my bench in the back room. Reason being is it becomes too painful for people. They just don't keep up with the cadence that is required for them to have that 50-50 chance of benefit. So that is number two. 